This young Asian guy just lost the girl of his dreams, but now he's just left stuck on a girl who doesn't want him anymore. Let's see if we can help him out. Or just play this clip from Rod Wave. She looks like the girl of my dreams. Stuck on a white girl, Andrew. This guy is in college. He was 6'2". He used to be 5'9 and chubby. And basically he says, I had a situation ship with this white girl at my college who was pretty much my exact type. Blonde, Christian, not a partier, same politics, I'm assuming conservative. And it ended with her choosing a white dude over me, coming back after she had got dumped, and now she's acting really cold again. Basically, I'm spiraling out of control, guys. I'm stuck, I'm lonely, I'm depressed. What should I do? Oh man, let's see if we got any advice for him. We'll check out the comments section. Please hit that like button, check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. Check out smallasauce.com. Um... David, it also says, I'm 6'2", I weigh 185, and I'm not bad looking. I mean, I did do my first modeling gig last weekend. Right. Bruh. But, 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 he dis, does say I used to be chubby and 5'9", so possibly my personality is still from the short chubby days. Yeah, probably. He still probably has this inferiority complex. I'm just going to go ahead and say this. Listen. I don't know what your girlfriend looks like. I don't know what you look like. I don't know how many people are in your town, but I will tell you this. You are young. You clearly have some physical abilities and physical looks, which well, is good. Well, top 1% as far, as far as Asian guys go for height. You're still in college, okay? Nothing, almost nothing serious happens in college. And so, honestly, just learn something from this and... Just move on, man, because honestly, you got your whole life ahead of you. You're going to have a lot of other opportunities. Your life can go so many different directions. You're probably 20 years old, and it was some situation shit. Just go listen to some comeback music, some anthem music that gets you, you know, pumped up, inspired, uh, because, oh, a cute blonde girl dumping me. Way worse things are going to happen in your life. Way worse things. So prepare. Yeah, I think that a lot of guys, they lack bro coaching. A lot of Asian guys, uh, they just don't have, like, good male mentorship for anything that's not career or school related. Yes. Like, this is a social aspect lane, you know, that often goes overlooked, particularly in East Asian culture or academically focused families. Yeah, listen, if you were, like, 35 years old and you had spent the last 10 years of your life searching for the one, and then you found the one, and then she left you for a white dude, or any dude, for that matter— of course, I could see that being a much, much bigger deal. Right. But, bro, you're good. And I think that a lot of Asian guys, uh, they really underestimate how many reps you need at societal things. It's almost like as many reps as you, uh, well, most people do three sets of 12 when they're lifting. You need, like, over 36 reps. So this guy's like, hey, let me tell you this, OP, Andrew, this ain't the first time he's going to get his heart broken either because he doesn't have the reps in yet. Oh, no reps. You about to get... Uh, no text from her. And I think that it, there's just a social slowness to it, especially when you're from a nerdy family. If you were 5'9 and you were chubby and now you're 6'2 and you're lean, you didn't get the reps in earlier in life. So now you're just getting the reps in later, but you have this maybe some weird competing sense of entitlement because you got really tall and skinny. You're like, why isn't it working for me? I came up. Look at me. I'm tall and good looking now. I I look smaxed and how come she still leaves me? My friend's Asian brand on campus called Eastern Soul asked me to model their streetwear that looks sort of like Supreme. Oh, that's a good point. What was this modeling gig for? Was it your friend's brand? That doesn't count. Somebody said, move on to other chicks. She will text you. This was really funny because basically, though, he's got to move on and post a really fun life with chicks that that chick, th that the white girl thinks is like prettier than her. And then she'll get jealous and she probably will text him. Yeah, I guess, but don't do that just for her, man. I actually do that because you want that for your life because that's still miserable. Right, right, right. Because basically you're playing games with somebody that was playing games with you, but I generally encourage people to just not play games in general because Listen, uh, man, you're, you're, you're kind of playing games, not focus on your life. She might have moved on already. So what? Somebody said all the cards were laid out, bro. Conservative Christian white girls tend to want their male counterparts just like women of any race. She went outside of her comfort zone momentarily with you, but ultimately you guys both had your fun. You, you still ate. I don't want to use the word ate, but I don't want to use the other word. And uh, basically like, yeah, just move on, dude. What, 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 are you, what, are you, what are you tripping for? Why are you stuck? Mm. 
Um, somebody said, if she knew you when you were fat and short, it's a liability because that's kind of like in her mind of how she views you, even though you're tall and lean. Interesting. Interesting. Listen, a lot of human psychology going on here. Somebody said, uh, there's plenty of girls in college. Never be a person's second choice or fallback. You're worried where you're worth way more than that. You know, people pumping them up and stuff like that. Somebody just said, quit being such a wimp. Someone said, dude, man, you got to understand, man, that some people, they find their match really quickly because they're in a pool of fish that are similar to the type of fish they are. Other people, it takes longer because they're a unique type of fish that doesn't match with the pool that they were born into. So they have to like do 10 times the amount of work or like fishing in different pools to to, to find their match. And then there was a whole analogy about how the high school quarterback always marries the high school cheerleader and they end up marrying and having like five kids in your hometown. Whereas everybody else like goes on to all these crazy cities to like find where they ultimately fit in because probably the guy who was the star high school quarterback and the girl that was the star high school cheerleader, Andrew, they're clearly like already fit with the environment that they were born into. So they don't have to do any more searching. So, you know, like we said, guys, especially if you're Asian, if you don't like fully fit in, you're just going to need to see a lot more frames and a lot more reps within different frames. Break your frame from the one that you were just born into. Um, Andrew, this Ethiopian girl said, huh? Why do you like white girls so much anyway? Hi. She said that I'm an eight or nine in the Ethiopian world, but I know to you that probably makes me a five or six white girl. That was a funny comment. So just somebody said, listen, guys, all guys need to do is be constantly connecting with different women, whether you are a club promoter, you're a DJ, you're in a frat, you're ever doing whatever it takes to just constantly be meeting like a new, just new people. Mm. Right. Yeah. And I think that that's the biggest thing, because especially if you are in STEM careers, Andrew, outside of being a doctor or a nurse, sometimes STEM careers, specifically engineering or math, can really put you in hyper male dominated fields, wow. um, especially if you're gaming and stuff like that. I hope you're playing one of the games that girls play. I'm not sure. You guys tell me what those are because I'm not that deep in the gaming world. Ultimately, Andrew, any final advice for this guy? He's stuck on this girl that was the girl of his dreams. Uh, I know it's easy to just say, hey, man, uh, move on, bro. Um, you should also get advice from real people, not just the internet, because they know you. Um, or uh, if you really want real advice, like, you know, talk to people, connect with people on the internet, and then, like, actually, like, talk to them, like, face-to-face -face or something like that, you know what I mean? Like, find some type of mentorship. Maybe, um, maybe, he, maybe guys like this, they feel mentored by the internet maybe they feel like oh well reddit guys were the first ones to tell me to work out and get the gains and then now i got the gains and now I, I, my expectation like you just need some real life mentorship and coaching in this i would some say bros ask a black guy yeah i have yeah, a friend dude. called kv and he's from a very prestigious family in nigeria and uh man he always gives me good advice i always ask him because he's like he just gets all the girls right yeah no. So anyways, guys, let us know. Find somebody maybe of another race to also get advice from in real life or just somebody older than you. Quit tripping. You're fine. There will be more in the world. You're literally in a better yeah. position than 99% of guys on Reddit. But his personality is still from the short chubby days. Well then go gain some life experiences, young buddy. Let us know in the comments down below what you think. What should this apparently somewhat handsome six foot two lean Asian guy should do. Wow. 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 Sounds like a bad position, right? Anyways, uh, let us know in the comments down below. Um, and until next time we out. Peace. Peace.